You'd have seen by now that Android 15 beta is out and in full swing, giving you that Android 15 early look on a handful of devices. So of course we have it on Pixel devices, but now you can get it on even more. So things like Oppo, Nothing, OnePlus, and Honor devices. And of course, if you want to upgrade to that Android 15 beta early before its official release, then you can actually go ahead and do it at your own risk. But if you do, you can try things such as private space and a couple more things here and there. But this is the important bit. Remember, if you try to upgrade to the Android 15 beta, it's at your own risk because as it's a beta, it's full of bugs and issues that might cause your phone to be a little bit unusable. So for example, at the moment, there's some soft bricks on Pixel 7 Pros. There's people that aren't able to use the NFC on their phones and other people are just complaining at horrendous battery life because this does happen when you install a beta onto your phone. We won't see a more stable release until around about June, July, and then that's when a lot of those bugs will be fixed but if you want to see what some of these bugs are before you actually update you can actually go to this website which i'll link in the description below and users who have tried the android 15 beta so far are adding their own issues in to this bug report system that google have so this is something that you might want to have a look at before you think about upgrading i would never recommend downloading this onto your main phone that you use every day because of the bugs that i mentioned it will make your phone potentially unusable and features that you use every single day might just not work so if you have a spare phone like an old pixel device then that's what i'd recommend putting this beta on and there's one thing here as well if you put the android 15 beta onto your phone and decide to opt out of this beta early it will wipe everything that's on your phone so what it will do is give you a stable release of android 14 the latest update but when it does that it will wipe everything that was on your device so you need to back it up if this is something that you're going to try out with android 15 and if you're fine with all that and you want to try out the android 15 beta then here are all the pixel devices that you can actually use this on so anything from the pixel 6 and 6 Pro all the way up to the new Pixel 8 and even the newest Pixel 8a. So you can put it on all of those. And like I said, now you can put it on Honor devices, nothing devices, a couple more as well. But again, this is something that you need to have a look at their website on to know how to do it because I'm just going to focus on how you can download the Android 15 beta onto your Pixel device and they will have their own how to's to do it on there. So go and check out their websites if you want to add it to that phone. Okay, now that beta is out publicly it makes it a lot easier to actually put this on your pixel and it actually takes a couple of minutes to do and i'll show you exactly how you need to do it so if you've backed up your phone and you are ready to go then this is exactly what you'll need to do the first thing you need to do here is just google opt into the android 15 beta or click the link below and it will take you to the page that i'm on here and it will show you all the devices that you have that are eligible to download the android 15 beta and you simply just click opt in but make sure you click the right device that is going to opt in to that android 15 beta and that's probably the hardest job here so once you've done that go to your settings and check for a system update and sometimes this can show within a couple of seconds but usually it does take a few minutes to show so just be a little bit patient and wait for that to pop up on your phone then you'll see that update file and it's a decent sized update actually it's a couple of gigabytes so it'll take some time to download and install but then once it's done you will have that android 15 beta when you turn your phone on as well you'll get this message android 15 beta pop up when you turn your phone on and that's when you know it's all done and you're ready to go it's a little bit underwhelming when you go and add a beta to your phone there's no big welcome screen saying hello welcome this is android 15 it's just your phone so you have to just go and explore it and have a little play with some of those features that you might have read or seen in the videos and finding all these bugs and having to just live with them for a little bit is kind of a bit of the fun if you do upgrade to the android 15 beta though then let us know in the comments below what device you've upgraded on and what bugs you might find because there's someone that's watching this video who's thinking should I upgrade and if you tell them that there's a bug on a certain device that they have that they want to upgrade to they might just think about it again especially if it makes that a little bit more difficult to use so help each other out in the comments before you head off as well make sure you subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel then if you do that then I will see you in the next video